Please select another video camera in settings. Is there a little triangle next to the camera icon? No, oh, there's an up, an up. Yeah, what, what happens when you click that? Uh, I've clicked the up one, it says integrated webcam. <coughs> yeah, does it allow you to select it? Yeah. It's still got the cross through the video. Hmm. I'm not sure. I, I can look at video Hello. settings. Hello. Hello. Oh. oh. That was so too barking. I'll look at video settings, shall I? Yes. <sighs> right, that's nice. Well, it'll be barking if you is, sort of. Can you hear me? Yeah, hello. Hello. Who have we got? Geraldine, Mike, Ali. Will. Got Will. Will? Where is he? I'm hey, putting the windows down. Hello, Will. Oh, I've got Sooty here. He's being naughty. Sit. There he is. All right. Sooty! Geraldine, we can't see you. I know, I'm trying to work it out. It what? says that, it says, uh, it's as a cross through the little camera thing at the bottom of it, and I'm just trying to go on settings to see what's happening. And I'm, I'm troubleshooting. Um, make sure that your webcam is plugged in and turned on. Well, if it's integrated, it must be turned on, yeah? Yeah, what are you on, a laptop or an iPad? A, a laptop. Laptop. Anna, what do you Hello. think? Oh. Hi, TJ. If, Hi. if you need <laughs> Geraldine, you can go out and come back in again. It might give you the option to <coughs> your camera on. Yeah, um, it, uh, it says restart the computer. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll log out of this and then log out the computer and start again. No problem. I'm going to return. I may return. I don't need to see, you don't need to see me, do you? <laughs> no. If, if, uh, if you're going to do, I mean, you can follow this video because I'll, I'll post it onto the um, remote service group so you can just watch it back. Once everybody's on, I think we're almost there. I know Jackie was going to try and uh, get on as well. Give us some, uh, who's that? Oh, it could be it could be Jackie on there, but I'm not sure who it is. Um, so you could you could sign on a little bit later when you do the workout if you if you're going to do it after the class, Geraldine, or after well, we finish I'll, talking. Yeah, what what I'll do is I'll leave the meeting now and have a play with the you know switch on switch off reboot as they say, and uh, see if I can join at some point now. But if not, I'll do it later. No, yeah, well, so just a, just a quickie. When you sign first, sign on. There's a little button that says join with video. Maybe yeah. try hitting that and see if that helps. Yeah, I think I did, but I will do it again. Okay, I'll do it again. Lovely. Thank you. Um, have a nice. <laughs> Bye. Thanks, Bye, Jeremy. Jeremy. Yeah. Okay, guys. Um, hey, Reese. Hello. So I'm only I'm only very quickly because I'm I'm at work. I just thought I'd say hello. You're not at work. <laughs> really, you're at home. I know. I know. No problemo. You can sign. Uh, you can sign in and see the recording later on if you want to go through it, or if you get it from um, the the written word. Obviously, you can just follow that as well. All right. Cool. Can anyone, can you guys see the board from there? Uh, yeah. Yeah, just about, yeah. Or if, you, if you've got your phones, if you've got the, the workout on there, the first thing was shoulder openers. We've all done these before. Um, the, PJ, sorry, I'm just, are you planning on doing it now? Or you, after yeah. the call? Yeah. Yeah. Now, cool. yeah. Okay, so um, obviously a bit of this stuff. Is, is I've got all my stuff ready. 
Oh, look at that. <laughs> so prepared. Oh, I couldn't see it because you were sat in front of it. Um, so what I'll do is I'll go through, there's essentially four workouts. Um, we can go and have a little practice just so you can remember what it is. I can jog your memory if you've forgotten. Um, so we've got the shoulder opener. Uh, we've got the overhead press. So if you haven't got what you need potentially now and you plan on doing it, you can go away, find that object. It can be anything. We're just trying to find some tension in the lats. Um, 60 seconds of work, 60 seconds of rest. So that's two rounds on each side. So when you're doing, if you do the, the right side first, your right side will have a rest when you go to do your left side and so on and so forth. Um, you'll get that um, 60 seconds rest as well. Uh, workout three is the push-ups. Again, you can go through and do as many rounds of these as, as you want. Focus being lats and pecs again. If, um, if you want to do, you might find that you do one round and you learn something from that. We, we want to encourage you to do as many as you can, focusing on, uh, I don't know if you can see the, the picture. Uh, la, 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 la. Lorenzo's on. Hello, Lauren. Hello. Hey. How's it going? Hi, JJ. Have you guys all seen... Hey, Sarah's on. Um, have you guys all seen the little post or flicked on to work out on the, uh, the little tab in the website today? There's a, there's a funky man hanging that picture. Yeah. Yeah, I got that. So you can see, actually, it, I thought it was quite a good picture because it has Terrace Major and Terrace Minor on it, yeah, um, which are right. internal torque muscles, for anyone who's interested. Um, yeah. Obviously, we're focusing on the lat today, which, which drives primarily an external torque. You can use any muscle in both torque chains. What we want you to be able to do is find that connection and know that specific, um, if you're in a specific torque chain, what the muscle feels like in that torque chain and how quickly and easily you can find it. Uh, so, yeah, so lats, lats is the one that inserts all the way down into the bottom of the rib cage. Really, really big muscle. So hopefully, um, after the pressing overhead, <laughs> you're really able to find some, get some blood flow going there. Uh, and then the last one was the four rounds, four rounds of time. Oh, who have we got there? Huawei Ma MediaPad M5 Lite. <laughs> A mystery person. Yeah, this I don't know who this person is. They joined on Saturday. They joined on no, Saturday. No. Give us a wave. Oh, is it? Who? Yeah, <laughs> who is it? I have no idea who this is. <laughs> Walker. <laughs> anyway, okay. Oh no, they've muted. Okay. Um. Cool. Oh. Uh, ah, oh. oh, pretty. Uh, shoulder openers, guys. Just to go through it. That's this one here. So if you've seen the video, you see them focusing on that. Neutral grip, a neutral grip is anything where your palms would be facing each other, like a farmer's carry. So if I was, if I was carrying something, I'm in a neutral grip because my, my palms are facing one another. Um, this so slightly palm up one is the, is the other kind of grip they use. So you start with the curls here. Don't let the elbows drop. Five curls, focusing on pec. Short head of the bicep. If you did the overhead, if you did, Cheer the, up. <laughs> if you did the overhead, um, we were snapping the dowel. Some of you might have had two dowels, and we saw the short head of the bicep start to flare up. You can see it there. Yes, I have one. Yes. Um, that's also what we're supposed to be feeling. So pecs, short head of the bicep, lats. Perfect warm up for everything that we're doing. It should burn. Like during the socks, I've said put on anything you want. You don't have to do any sort of movement to the, 
to the words or anything, just put on a song, focus on what you're trying to do. And I also said, stand in front of a mirror. So you'll do five curls here. Then you'll turn to a neutral grip and do another five curls. Then you'll go back out and do five raises. And if it doesn't, you don't have to be directly over you need. Bring your arms slightly forward of the body if that's where you're able to maintain tension. Remember, it's not about how something looks, it's about how something feels for you. Any questions on the shoulder opener? And I'm going to have to go. I'll speak to you guys soon, yeah? See you later. Catch you later. Bye. If, um, if you want to send us a video, it doesn't have to be me, you can send it to, to Billy or Anna showing us how good you are at shoulder openers or maybe you're not sure like you can find the short head of the bicep or you can find the pec on one side and not so much on the other we can maybe see from the video what you're doing what and how how we could potentially correct um correct what you're feeling if you're not feeling it where you think you should be feeling it um cool no question no more questions on the shoulder opener so single arm overhead press. Uh, if you've got a barbell or um, anything, a spanner or something. Did you just do your shoulder openers, Tej? Oh, you've got your overhead. No, I've cool. got my kettlebell. Oh, kettlebell. <laughs> cool, so we're going to be focusing down into the lat here. Sometimes we take a bit of a staggered stance. Um, so it's the mm. leg. Um, the opposite side to which the, the weight's in. But overhead position, I mean, you could use a, a can of anything, a uh, can of beans, whatever. Uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't have to be a, a gym piece of equipment. So the idea is that we find tension at the top in the pec, and then as we start to lower the weight down, we almost think about crunching towards the towards the lap, a bit like how you, do, how you would have done crunches as, as a sit-up. Maybe you haven't done that for a while, back in the day. So think about sort of crunching back towards the bottom of the rib cage, back towards the lat. You should be able to get it to cramp. 60 seconds on one side. If you want to do really slow reps, that's fine. If you want to do multiple reps, because maybe you're doing a lighter object. So you might have to do a few more reps. Don't feel like you have to go all the way or come down all the way. Go as far as you can where you're maintaining that tension. If you come all the way down and you just sort of turn into whatever, Marsh. There's no point. Just keep that rep, keep that rep a little bit shorter. Um, does anybody want to give it a go? TJ, are you giving it a go? Yeah, I'm trying. Come on then, See? TJ, can give us a little demo. Nice. So that's a good position as well for the kettlebell. It adds that little bit of instability too. So what I want you to do is bring your, that's your left arm. So bring your right foot forward so you're in a slightly staggered stance. So create a nice strong base for yourself. That's it. You can just keep the lower body nice and strong. And we're going to focus on, so as Tej, as you bring the weight down here, yeah. not to let your hand come in. Don't. Yeah, don't let your hand come in. I want you to think about keeping the, the wrist should almost be stacked on top of the elbow. And I'm almost pulling back behind the body as I crunch oh, yeah. down. Oh yeah, feel that. Yeah. Cool. And then what we do happen is the, the trap to start to take over as we push, as we push the weight back up. Oh, I've lost you. You stopped moving. Oh, sorry. You have to move, do you, for it to work? <laughs> or you stop talking. Which I didn't know Zoom like worked. <laughs> I'm back. It's only a six kg. It feels like a hundred. <laughs> let's, see, let's see what happens on your other side and then, and then we'll, we'll move on. So TJ's going to take a slightly staggered stance. That's it. 
She's going to focus on not letting that wrist cave in. She's going to try and keep it stacked. Good stuff. And as she comes down, really on the way down, that's really when you can start focusing that tensing back towards that muscle. You can see on the, you can see on the pit, like how it's a huge muscle. It's a, it's a massive muscle. So that's why we want to get it working and we're not calling on like the tiny little super, supraspinatus or a really small muscle that sometimes we hear people have, have problems with. Let's get the really big muscle groups working, get them doing their job. Okay, any questions on the overhead press? Mm -hmm. All good? All good. Good. Okay, so the push-up. Um, I, I wrote in the beginning, uh, at the beginning of the message, or, or on, on the group, that these are simple movements, and like we don't have to go heavy, but it doesn't mean that they're easy. So if you're saying, I can't find, I can't find my lats, or I can't feel my pecs, that's, that's okay. It's mm. something that we all have to work on. It's, it will, it's a process. You will get better at it. And then as you start to find that connection, you can begin to hold that tension for longer. Then you can pick up more weight. Yeah, it, it's a process. It's just part of building strength in that muscle and building that connection there. Um, so the options are, yeah, if you do find push-ups easy, well, stick to that constraint that we've given. So you're going to focus on, making them feel like, feel like you're building strength. So if you're just sort of sagging into the push-up, um, I just did a little workout before. My constraint was to not, that it, it had burpees in it. My constraint was to not let my belly just sort of flop to the floor. I had to keep that tension really strong. So that's what I want you to focus on, even if it means you decrease the range. So whatever you've got at home, you might be able to stack some books up and use it as a little um, platform so you reduce the range that you have to do that push up. Has anybody, has anybody um, got any ideas with stuff at home? Uh, like potentially a wall, like you might have a, quite a low wall that you could use, a bench, like a bench seat potentially. Any other ideas? that people can think of. I'm just thinking in your homes, what other people might have that if they're watching this well, the bottom, back. Bottom, bottom stair. <coughs> yeah, stair, yeah. yeah. Step. Yeah. That's a good one. Uh, if, you, if you've done a sandbag, if you've built your own sandbag, could you do it to that? Yes. We have some compost bags. Uh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Good idea. <coughs> I've got garden steps. Garden, I've got garden steps in my garden I could use. Yeah. So you're at, at, in that slightly uh, inclined position. So you're yeah. um, obviously yeah. if you start to raise your feet up, that's going to make the, the push up harder. Another thing, if you want to do that on push-ups and practice holding the tension, option to put your feet up uh, higher than your your shoulders. Do you want to? Do you, have you got your push-up set up? No. Me. Yeah. What are you going to use? Your step. Just, um, got a rug on the okay, patio. So all right, so if you want to go to, like, bring, pop, pop your knees on the floor, you can do that as well, if you don't have uh, other options. Add weight if you want. You could get yeah. someone to put that compost bag on your back. Or whatever it is, maybe you've got a, a weight vest hanging around, lying around at home. Um, let's just go through, I'm just going to go through the demo of the push-up. Um, let me find a bit of a... Maybe. Okay. All right. So my constraint was that I wasn't going to let my, my belly sag as well, but I'm also going to focus on 
the lats and on the way up using my pecs as well so i'll do five and do it from my toes as well like we just spoke about if i don't know if someone's just joined the call i think that was jackie oh hi jackie and the hallway is jackie oh hi jackie hi hello cool okay Okay. So snaking from your knees, going from a slightly raised platform or making it harder by adding weight. Any other questions? Push ups? All good? All good. No. Nope. Um, All good. The work four rounds, four rounds at a time, should be a really big peck and lap pump throughout this. So we've got a reverse plank, which is facing up. I'm gonna come back over here. The reverse plank would be here, locking the arms out, lifting the hips up. But I'm gonna focus on keeping that tension through the peg. So if that means I have to lower my hips, then that's fine. The more I raise the hips the harder the movement and the more likely i am to use that tension if i'm not used to it if you're not comfortable with that you will do a standard plank so making sure wow. we're keeping the legs together not forgetting about the tension through the body the um, just because it's a, an arm driven movement I think about what we're doing with the lower half as well Flex. even the inside of the hamstring making sure we're squeezing our glutes as well really important um chair dips did you got two chairs there yeah i've got chair have you got two because i was going to show the guys with a chair how i want you to do it between two chairs you haven't got two enough chairs? there have you Hold on, I'll just get another chair. Demo woman, and you're not even here. It's brilliant. Yeah. yeah. The is coming out of the window because I've moved to the wall. Is that what you mean? Yeah, perfect. Oh. So, if T, do you, uh, you're, you're basically going to be sitting on the floor. You can tuck your knees in fairly close. <coughs> That's it. So from there, because we don't want to lose that tension here, we want to still be thinking about the connection that we've been working hard on. In these. You should be sweating after these first three workouts, warm-up movements. So I want you to start lowering your hips you see the, the further you take your feet out to okay. the straighter yeah. your legs are um, the harder it's going to be what we don't want to see is as teach starts to lower is that shrug coming into play you want to keep the shoulders down and her focusing the tension towards the pec and the lat and she can use her feet just as so she gets used to this you can reduce the range as well <laughs> hi james <laughs> When I was doing these at home, I was, I was really not going very far at all. And I was between two, two chairs, just like that, Teej, because I was focusing on, so I put 20 to 10 reps. Oh, gonna be hard. Too many. <laughs> Keep going, Teej. Just another 15 to go. <laughs> so Teej, make sure she keeps her head forward. She doesn't let the elbows wing out too much. Set them in a position and then keep them in that position. Don't, if you start to see, so if we use a pressing movement, for instance. So if I was to press this overhead, 
if if I get to a certain point and then I have to move my body and displace where the tension is going as I'm pressing, something's not right there. I should be able to press and keep thinking about that saying, I can see the short of the bicep, I'm trying to focus on the pecs, I'm gonna try and keep that same tension there the entire way. If as I come down, the elbow kicks in or it goes backwards, something's happened in the, the joint, you've, we've visibly, as a coach, we've visibly seen that shoulder move or we've seen the elbow move, the arm move. So that's another cue that you might think to yourself, Right, nice Tej, that's looking really good. As I'm dipping, oh, why do I get to this point and then my elbow starts to flick out to the side? Or on a push-up, why, why am I able to push, push, push and then the shoulder at the top, that's what we tend to see at the top of a push-up, the shoulder starts to roll inwards. Yes, we want internal torque there, but we don't want a massive displacement or a visible changing of the joint during that rep we should be able to keep everything every rep should really look the same and feel the same it might be that your muscles just start screaming at you because you're <coughs> yeah. Um, yeah hand release push-ups so exactly the same thing we've just been through with the with the five push-ups there's just so, going to be a hand. Sorry, say again, Pete. Put you back. Put me back on the screen. Yeah, please. Oh, sorry. Did there you, you go. did you guys all just miss everything that I said? <laughs> no, I've got that. Oh yeah. Did you oh you, you just didn't see me moving? Yeah. Ah, okay, that probably wasn't helpful. Um, so, okay, going back to the push-up, as, as I was saying a minute ago about as we start to press something, doesn't matter where we're pressing it, if we get to a certain position and then we see that shoulder, we see it as like, we see it visibly move. Obviously for you, if you're pressing and you feel it move, that should be your cue to think, ah, something's broken down there. Same as when I press, if I'm pressing and then I get to the end range and I have to <coughs> shrugging, and it's probably coming from my trap. If I see this rolling in, something's not right there. We've said pecs, we've said the short head of the bicep and the lap. These are the things we should be able to, and even if you're not able to straighten that arm all the way up, they're the things we should be able to, that tension that we should be able to hold on to without seeing a crazy internally ro internal rotation or a visible movement of the joint displacement. Uh, so that exactly the same thing with the push-up. So you might find that you, you're able to press, 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 press. You get to the end of the, the push-up and then we see this rolling in or a kicking of the elbow as well. These are the things that I want you to be looking out for, especially on those five reps as well. What part of the movement, what part of the rep am I strong on? And where is it starting to break down? Where am I losing that tension? Why am I losing that tension? And if you can work out why you're doing it, we can tell you how you can fix that. Yeah, that's why the, the videos, this is a sort of a good opportunity yeah. almost to get some individual coaching if you if you want to send us some uh, some videos through we can we can look into that and uh, and help you however we can so hand release push-ups 10 to 5 if by making them hand release and you get to the bottom of the rep you're going to lift your hands up off the floor so if, you're... So if i'm going to go down to the floor lift my hands up and then push back up into that rep if by making it a hand release push up you find that the shoulder dips or rolls or rotates into a position that doesn't allow you to maintain that tension don't make it a hand release just remove that hand release and make it a normal push up maybe you shouldn't be going quite as far or you're going to that slight um 
uh, platform, like we talked about, whether it was a comp two compost bags or stacked up some books, uh, steps, anything that you're using. It doesn't have to be hand -related. That was just an, it's an extra element of difficulty making it hand -related. But you'll get that. You just got to try. That. Yeah. Uh, it was four, yeah, four rounds for time. Guys, have you got any, any other questions? Uh, you know when you're doing the front plank? Uh, the, uh, if you're doing the face up one. Uh, where, how does your head, how does your head go? Um, where, where would we want your, what would we want your shoulders to look like? You want it to be level with your shoulders? Yeah, yeah. We, we would want it to be neutral for, for that person. So, right. um, yeah, we, we cut, sometimes see this massive, like, wanting to lift your head up. But what we're trying to get you to think about is bringing the chin inwards as opposed to looking down. And the other thing we see, like, in a deadlift is looking up. To what, if you look up, immediately you'll feel your traps kick in. If you pull your chin inwards... You should start to feel your neck and even sometimes oblique. So here, I can pull my chin in. I don't want to be all the way over here or look at right, yeah. this. Yeah? Yeah, thank you. <coughs> A neutral position for you, What? what <coughs> A strong position for you. Shouldn't, you shouldn't really feel a lot of tension through your neck. We, we okay. sort of, like, that's why lots of us carry a lot of tension there in the trap in the neck. Because we're used to sort of being in that hunched position or lifting weights with our chin up in the air. Um, any other questions? That was a good question, Teej. Thank you. Um, what sort of should we be looking at, do you think? What sort of what? Time. How long would you recommend me personally? Again, it's we want you to don't don't focus so much on the time. Focus on how much of that tension you're able to create. Okay. If, if if you have to have a little bit of a rest and break the set down, fine. But you should be able that 30 seconds of that plank, maybe you do it in two 15 second windows. If you start to feel the tension dissipate, like you've lost it, there's no point in you doing it and just oh, yeah, willy yeah. nilly. So that's your constraint. Uh, so don't, don't focus on the clock, don't even time it. Okay. Yeah, and if it's not four rounds, then it's, then it's not four rounds. But do your best to just to, Think about what you've worked on creating, that tension you've worked on creating, and then holding it for as long as possible. That's what the workout is. It is a, it's a bit of fun. How, how much can I push myself, do these push-ups, even if they're not full range push-ups, but to maintain that tension here, here, lats. Yeah? Thank you. Yeah. The, the, um, the shoulder opener video, I put, a, I put a link to that. That's obviously, that's the strong fit guys. Um, and they, they would explain it slightly differently as well. So if you need to follow, follow them while they're doing it, fine, that's cool. You don't have to put a song if you don't want. The mirror thing is quite helpful. If you've never done it in front of a mirror, um, it, it, it is a good idea. Because you might, see, you'll see things differently. Yep. Yeah. Um, hand release push ups, snake box. I went through that. Lots of maintaining tension through the pec. If at the end of that workout you can now find tension in your pec whilst you find tension in your lap, massive win. That's, that's really great. And if you're not quite there yet, maybe you've you've connected to the pec or you've connected to the lap that's fine that's a step that's a step in the right direction yeah yes much better than saying oh i did that workout in 
10 minutes, but I didn't feel anything. Yeah. Yeah. It is a, it is a burny, burny day because it's Monday. <laughs> and you're going to love Friday's workout. I'm really looking forward to that one. <laughs> I think you'll all enjoy it. Any other questions, guys? No, all good. The oh. burn tab is the shoulder opener. There's some cool clips from the weekend on the smile tab, which is only going to get on there if you've got the password. So it's actually got the people. Um, so if you don't want to do do let me know. And yeah, just keep following things. I think I just love all those different, like you guys work out completely by yourself. That was, that's really cool. <laughs> yeah, awesome to see you all. And it's nice. Thank you. See you tomorrow then, guys. See you later. Bye. See you later. Bye. Bye.